Hello friends, today we are going to explore Alaska's mini Costco. Three Bears is a local Alaska grocery chain that carries a lot of bulk product. They also have their own product line, so it feels like a mini Costco. Let's take a look at some of the things that they have to offer. Because Alaska only has three Costco's in the entire state, and if you don't know, Alaska is humongous. Three Bears steps in and fills in the gap for communities where they don't have Costco, but people still want to be able to get better prices and buy things in bulk. So you will see a lot of Kirkland products at Three Bears, along with their product and lots of other goods. They carry a lot of things that I can't find at my local grocery store like Fred Meyer and Cars, so it's fun to come shop here and see what they have. Let's have a look around. Right, here's an example of their own products. All of these seasonings are Three Bears Alaska products. They have so many seasonings. Wow. And they go anywhere from $4.99 for a seasoning blend up to $6.29. Interesting, lots of honey mustard rub, Jamaican jerky seasoning, Kansas City steak rub, pizza seasoning, pomegranate red bull pepper rub. Wow, they've got quite the selection. They even have a bunch of these bigger sizes for $8.99 to $11.99. And then they have the more traditional seasonings over here, but oh, here's another Alaska one. The Alaska Seasoning Company truffle seasoning, sea salt and pepper, lots of local stuff, which is really fun. One thing that is great about this store is they go from regular size stuff, if that's what you need, all the way down to the Costco size version, $23.99 for a 25 pound bag of sugar, or $4.69 for a small bag, all the way down to a tiny little box, for $2.49. You could see how this could be really helpful in more remote locations. Everybody doesn't want the bulk. Some people want bulk, some people want small. And they kind of cover all of that, which a grocery store doesn't usually do, and Costco doesn't do it. You have to buy it in bulk. I'm gonna take my jacket off. All right, I do actually have a shopping list here of things that I will not be able to get at Costco, so I'm gonna try and get that while I'm here today, showing you around. This, I really wanna make some Bran muffins with my sourdough start, so I need this, which I could not find at Fred Meyer. Big selection of this Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill stuff. Lots of gluten-free options. Now, one thing, if you're local to Alaska and you like syrups for your coffee, um, this is the place to come. They have a better selection than I've ever seen anywhere in Alaska, and they are as cheap or cheaper than you can find on Amazon. This one is my absolute favorite, this melon. And then these, this row right here is all sugar-free for $7.49, really good deal. And then one time I bought these things over here, this extreme peach, and put it in a soda, and this mango one, and they were incredible. Super spendy, but I had it, got them for a party and it was really fun. So now we have flour, $6.39 for a five pound bag. All the way down to Costco bags. Her. Look at those fun candy pebble jelly beans. I don't shop here very much, but I think I will more often because their like house brand looks amazing. 
All right, so they also carry like houseware. So they've got a section of this kind of stuff. drink section pretty much have everything so from fun bottles 519 for four of them lots of different bottles they have a 36 pack for 16.99 got 12 packs for 7.99 and they have these like fun Paritos on sale for $1.99. And then some off brand is Shasta. $4.19 for a 12 pack. And over here they've got the Lacroix. Oh, and then a really good selection of these Zevias. For six forty nine. You guys, like the selection is just incredible. It's good to know they have canning jars in stock. Sometimes those can be really hard to find. like a mini Costco. All right, another thing here is they have a huge selection of Alaskan coffees, which is always kind of fun to look at. Outhouse blend. We're in the snack section. Everything. Big or small, they've got it all. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Crayola gummies. Never seen such a thing. Ooh, these. I love these. I love the texture of this kind of. They actually made in Australia? Nope, Minnesota. Actually, no, it says a product of Spain. Product of Spain, but it has a kangaroo on it. Very interesting. All right, so I'm in the can aisle. Also have Asian section, Mexican food, lots of pickles over on this side. Well, a very large frozen food section. Well, let's go see if we can find some meat. $17 for 0.8 pounds, $20.99 a pound. Wow. We 
look yummy though. Octopus leg. Candied smoked salmon, yum. Ready? look nice so I'm gonna grab some I'll probably grab some more at Costco but you never know if Costco is gonna have all green bananas all right so I had somebody mention that I don't buy very many carrots that is because I like to buy Alaska grown carrots and you can find them here and you can have find them at Fred Meyer so I don't buy carrots at Costco very often because I like to buy the Alaska grown ones because they're just so much better so I'm gonna grab this big giant bag for $5.99 of Alaska Grown Carrots. Alaska Grown, $6.99 for 10 pounds. Need these for my brand muffins. very fun and unique about three bears is they also sell a ton of hunting equipment it's like a little mini cabela's in here they have traps they have stuff for meat processing they know their clientele needs stuff like this Camping. They've got some clothes, some gun safes, guns, like so much nicer though than the Walmart feel. It just feels so nice and clean and um, local. It just feels local. Now this store is just like five minutes away from my house, but you have to remember that this is the type of store that they have all over the state for people to be able to shop at. So it, we can go find this kind of stuff at other stores, but many places that these stores are, you can't.
All right, other than the okra, I think I got what I need for the recipes I'm gonna make this week. And we gotta check out. Kind of hits you like a wall when you walk out. All right, here is my little three bears haul. I'm gonna unload it into the back of my car, into my crate here. Some smoked sausage, all bran. Some eggs, because that was just such a good deal. Can of tomato soup. A green pepper. Something of bananas. Some oat bran and some Alaskan grown carrots. Grand total might be the lowest I've ever uh, show, shared with you guys, 31.42. But really, we were just going in there to see what it looked like, and I've got some thoughts on that. I don't think that I'm ready to give up my Costco addiction quite yet for three bears, but honestly, if I have a lot of things that I need that are not at Costco, but a few things at Costco, I would totally come here. They just had such a wide variety of things between their Three Bears brand, the Kirkland brand, and everything in between. Man, it is quiet in there. There are so many people working if you need any help. Um, it's clean. It just has that good hometown feel. So I hope you enjoyed coming and exploring Three Bears with me today. Let me know down in the comments what shopping in Alaska you'd like to see next. I'm going to be sharing new different stores with you guys each week. Tell me what sections of those stores most interest you and what stores you wanna see here in the great state of Alaska. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.